How to Be Alone by Tanya Davis If you are at first lonely, be patient. If you've not been alone much, or if when you were you weren't okay with it, then just wait. You'll find it's fine to be alone once you're embracing it. We can start with the acceptable places, the bathroom, the coffee shop, the library, where you can stall and read the paper, where you can get your caffeine fix, sit and stay there, where you can browse the stacks and smell the books. You're not supposed to talk much anyway, so it's safe there. There's also the gym. If you're shy, you can hang out with yourself in mirrors, you can put headphones in. And there's public transportation, because we've all got to go places. And there's prayer and meditation. No one will think less if you're hanging with your breath, seeking peace and salvation. Start simple. Things you may have previously avoided based on your avoid being alone principles. The lunch counter, where you will be surrounded by chow downers. Employees who only have an hour and their spouses work across town. And so they, like you, will be alone. It's okay if no one believes like you, all experience is unique. No one has the same synapses, can't think like you, for this be relieved. Keeps things interesting, life's magic things in reach. It doesn't mean you're not connected, that community is not present. Just take the perspective you get from being one person in one head and feel the effects of it. Take silence and respect it. If you have an art that needs a practice, stop neglecting it. If your family doesn't get you or a religious sect is not meant for you, don't obsess about it. You could be in an instant surrounded if you needed it. If your heart is bleeding, make the best of it. There is heat in freezing. Be a testament.